about it fam i hope that you guys are doing well it is officially june technically today is sunday which is june the second so june would have started yesterday but june is finally here it's the sixth month of the year there is about 30 weeks left in this year 2024 and what a great time for us to actually start a 30 envelope challenge so in today's video we are going to be having a battle of the boxes where I'm going to share with you these six amazing savings challenge boxes that you might be interested in using for the rest of this year. But before we actually get into them, we do need to set up our budget binder for the month of June. This is where I keep my weekly savings challenge. This was a budget binder that I purchased from Maria over at she's got it and what i quickly want to do for the month of june i don't actually think i'm going to be able to get to all of my saving challenges for the month of june simply because i'm going to be starting these boxes however i think i still want to do my affirmation saving challenge it just keeps me going it sets the tone for each video it just sets me up for a wonderful week so the affirmation for the month of june is i am financially secure and I have a comfortable future ahead of me. I am financially secure and I have a comfortable future ahead of me. So that is the affirmation for the month of June. Screenshot it, say it every day for the next 30 days and allow the universe to align everything according to what you believe. I absolutely love affirmations. All right, here's my... Um, themed savings challenge for the month of june and we've got hello summer we've got some beach we've got some sandals you know the fruit stands and the lo ice lollies are now going to be coming out so that is what we have set up for june then we have our seasonal savings challenge and this one is called summer vibes we've got the coconut cups with the delicious tropical drinks in there so that's what we're going to be doing for the new season of summer and then we do have a few other savings challenges from uh, some of the budget besties. This is the June savings challenge from Fiona over at Frugality is Life. And I basically assign one euro for each one of these letters. And then I have another positive affirmation from Maria over at She's Got It. My capacity to hold and grow money expands every day. My ability, my capacity my potential, my opportunity. You can replace any of those words. You can use any of those words. To hold and grow money expands every day. I agree with that one. I wanna be able to expand all of the money. Then this is the June Savings Challenge from Jerry over at One Frugal Introvert. So that's gonna go in there and it's a cheap one this month. Five, 10, 15, 20. Oh my goodness, we needed that break because last month was such a expensive one. And then this is another uh, positive um, affirmation type encouragement word. This one's from Marie over at She's Got It. And this one is a scratch off. A penny save, it's a penny earned. All right. So and for this month, <clears throat> excuse me. So for the target for this one is 40. All right. Well, it's better than what we had last month. May, I think, was 60. We have our Zodiac Saving Challenge. And I do have a Zodiac box. So I think I'm going to be focusing on the star sign box. And then we do have like a few little extras um, in here. So this is my 12 weeks of summer. There is one for 100. There's one for 50 with the coconut cups. And then we have one for 25 with the beautiful uh, tree and the beach umbrella. So I think we'll put the 25 one in here. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get to them because I have so much challenges going on. And then we also have message in a bottle in the back here as well. So my June budget binder is now completely set up for the month of June, but we're gonna put that to the side because I really wanna focus on these boxes here. Battle of the savings challenge boxes. If you've not, if you're new to my channel, you might not be familiar with this concept. Um, 60 days ago, we started the candy box savings challenge. We started off with just 30 cards and then it grew into an additional 18 and then an additional six, an additional six. Like it has significantly expanded and it has been quite the savings challenge. 
the rest of these savvy challenges are kind of inspired by the candy box and i am collaborating with different youtubers to bring you a variety of different saving challenge boxes that come with cards it is meant to push you it is meant for you to have a bit of fun and it's completely spontaneous it's like you just don't know what's going to be happening so by now you should have been able to catch up on the candy box savings challenge um and with the candy box that we've been playing so far we have saved over a thousand euros so we hit the target for the month of april of 465 essentially for my 30-day challenge you can turn it into a 30-week challenge. At the end of the day, it's just 30 envelopes. And each envelope is from 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 30. So at least for me, I'm going to show you how the other boxes are actually sli slightly different, which is really good. And I hit the target for April, and we also hit the target for May. But we have some other, like, again, the, the concept behind these challenges is that there are six sections, and each section has five different amounts for you to save that's what makes it the 30 envelope challenge so far with the candy box we've been able to save 1195 euros so i have my 1000 cash place holder i am just i am so happy to see this blood sweat and tears guys <laughs> lots of laughter lots of tears okay so that's basically the candy box but you should be familiar with the candy box by now now i'm gonna move on over to the other five boxes that i have here you should be familiar with the coffee box because i started the coffee box on my coffee wednesday's videos and this is the saving challenge from maria over it. she's got it but i'm actually going to push it to Sundays with the Battle of the Boxes. And again, there are six sections. Each one of the sections is named after a country that coffee, that makes or grows coffee beans. And there's different amounts for each of the sections. And again, you're gonna pull a card, you're gonna find that icon, look for the icon within the sections, and you're just gonna save that amount. So we've got our coffee on deck. And it does come with IOU slips, cash placeholders, as well as buying slips as well. That is the coffee box, okay? Then we have the birthday box. This is a new one. This one literally just joined the family yesterday. I reached out to Fiona and she was able to turn this around within 24 hours. So hats off to Fiona. This is the birthday box. And I really, really wanted to have a birthday box because... Um, me and my hubby's birthday is coming up in September and I wanted a savings challenge that's going to push me to save just a little bit and make it extra special. So she created such a beautiful savings challenge, the birthday box. And I love that she created like this little bookmark. So wherever you leave off, wherever you, the last place that you go, you're actually going to just put this there. And I just thought, I love the little extra icing on the cake, pun intended. So we do have a cash breakdown slip and we do have cute little IOUs. Now, excuse the size of them. I did not change the scale, the sizing on my printer. And when it printed out, it printed out like little tiny little minis. But I'm not about to waste any um, paper or printing ink. So I just left them there at the way that it is. Okay. The birthday box does have a savings challenge content section one straight through section six and there are additional add-on saving challenges as well we do have some budget sheets in here um these are the different these are the extra saving challenges um just to help you not get bored and to push you to save just a little bit more so that's uh the first one is called birthday guilty pleasure birthday guilty pleasures birthday sweet tooth and then small spool of your rotten and i know they are so tiny but honestly they are just the cutest savings challenges ever all right and then we have the different six sections section one section two section three section four five and six and in the back there she did create some uh, cash place holders as well i just want to quickly do a flip through of all of the binders just so that you know what it looks like and then we're going to get started with the cash stuffing today all right so next up uh so we did the coffee we did the candy box we've done the birthday box let's move on over to the chocolate box and this is one created by alicia over at saving with alicia and honestly i just could not resist we we definitely needed a bit of chocolate like with which team are you team candy team chocolate team coffee 
and then we also have a magic box and we have a star sign box as well so honestly i've shown this before table of contents six sections love chocolate white chocolate hot chocolate pralines milk shake and co chocolate mix and we have all of the different sections here honestly the cutest chocolate box ever we do have some bonus saving challenge this is a chocolate egg hunt we have the roll and save chocolate uh, squares and then we have a brownie recipe she did send me some extra uh cards for the chocolate box so i'm very happy about that and then we have the cutest chocolate cash placeholders honestly absolute guys we are gonna have so much fun so much fun that is the chocolate box and i just i went a little crazy with the charms like i put chocolate charms in here there's candy charms in here there's cake charms in here there's coffee charms in here with real coffee beans that maria sent to me i put some snakes and some bees in here for this uh magic school and then for the zodiac uh the star sign i found this cute little die that i purchased a long time ago i thought it would be a nice little decoration honestly i absolutely love it Let's quickly move over to the star sign box. And this is from Pernile from over at P. Crow's Designs. And um, I will have everybody, I will tag all of the YouTubers in the description down below. This one is a Zodiac themed saving challenge. And I do Zodiac every month for my cash stuffing anyway. So I thought this would be a nice replacement for that. Again, we have our table of contents and there are six sections and each section has a different amounts and they do come with different cards. We have some bonus saving challenges in the back here for stars as well as a dice challenge and another star sign and then we have scratch off guys we have three different scratch offs i am obsessed we are pushing ourselves to save a lot of money because we have vacations coming up we have back to school coming up i have birthdays coming up like there's a lot of financial obligations that i need to save for and i feel like this is a good push now I've saved this one because this is completely new and this is going to be from Gigi over at Southern Charm Savings. She is one of my uh, subscribers as well as Farm Squad VIP and she created this beautiful, magical school. Guys, I am just so excited. It's so different. Welcome to the enchanting realm of year one at the School of Magic. And it does come with IOU slips and it does come oh that's iou all of those are iou but she did create some i try to remember if she did create some cash placeholders i think she did um but anyway welcome to the enchanting realm of year one at the school of magic and then we have like a nice little welcome little letter welcome to your enchanting debut year at magic school get ready to unlock your mystical talents through classes and epic showdowns of luck skill and cunning like it's so cool <clears throat> and then she ends it from the desk of your head honcho that is so cool i love challenges that are interactive that has a slight hint of creativity and imagination and then we have the table of contents time to wrangle those classes again this is a school of magic magical school so you have magical herbology you have magic brews sky high lessons shape shifting stargazing and then we have the timetable and then you just go to each of the sections and i love this because the amounts are relatively low like we already know candy box is about to pull some dollars i don't know what chocolate's gonna do i don't know what i don't know what um the birthday box is gonna do i don't know yet what the other boxes are gonna do which is why there's a battle of the boxes but i felt like whilst i flipped through the pages like the numbers are not that high magical herbology We've got magic brews. Look at the graphics, guys. Honestly, it's so pretty. Sky high lessons. Okay, we got an eight and a seven there. Not too bad. Oh, we got a 10 there. Shape shifting. Um, stargazing. And then the timetable. So I feel like it is pretty straightforward. Then we have our first year essentials. And the total is 30. So that's not too bad. Then you have to go to the different houses. I'm going to be this this i forgot which what she said that was it the dagger i think that's what she said it, it's called i thought it was a pan at first <laughs> and so like you roll the dice glide your game piece along each row and pocket the loot waiting on the final row so that's really really cool and then you just add it to the house to your different houses and then she has some bonus saving challenges in here as well this one's called sugar quest and you could assign it amount and then the great escape which is connect four 
and I love the creativity that she put into here. And you're just gonna color each one a red or a black and save the amount. So it's relatively a small amount. She also has spell binding chests to the back here that I, I hardly, I don't think I've ever played just really so i definitely need to watch her video again to see how this is played um and then that's it once you're done you've conquered year one and then you get ready for year two how cool is that she really did put a lot of creativity um into this binder okay so now that we've kind of went through all of the different binders it is now time for us to do battle of the boxes but first we need to get some cash so on a weekly basis, guys, on a weekly basis, I always cashed off 160 euros, okay? This is my 164 this week. That's all that I have for this week. The only way that I'll be able to cash off a little bit more is if I've made um, sales off of Etsy or if we run into some extra cash from our jobs. And then also, we had 60, Euro, 60 euros rollover from last week because last week was a magic week. There were five... Fridays in the month of May and I had cashed off a hundred euros to put to finish off some saving challenges but there was also 60 euros left over so in total for today we are going to cash off 51 52 10 15 20 so we have a total of 220 euros okay with the battle of the boxes basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a die and that's going to determine the order of the boxes that we are going to cash stuff first and again all of these are card challenges so all we're going to do is just roll these six dice, and we're going to see which one of them we're going to do first and when the cash runs out guys it absolutely runs out now there is another challenge that i do have uh which is the butterfly house from brandy that's not necessarily a like 30 envelope challenge or it's not necessarily a box challenge but it is a fun challenge and i have my binder for that um already set up here as well so essentially it has the net tracker it has the butterfly tracker plant tracker and then it just goes into about 18 different butterflies you just save the cash you roll them up um, you roll your die and you save the cash to, to take them from the leaf all the way up to the butterfly. Is that called metamorphosis? And then there is just a construction zone for the main building, a gift coffee shop and a garden. So it's not necessarily, um, like a box challenge, but I just wanted to quickly highlight that this was another challenge that we are going to be doing, um, depending on how the cash flow situation is okay guys oh my goodness time for us to do battle of the boxes and let's see which one of these challenges is going to actually push us to save a lot like i hope candy box does not give me any candy heart attacks all right guys let's go okay chocolate is three candy box is last thank you thank you lord uh, who's one who's this oh we're doing the zodiac one first then we're going to do coffee box first. Then we're going to do school of math. Oh my, gee. wow. Do you see that? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. That is so cool. That is, what are the chances of that ever happening? So I think that's how we're going to continue to play them in that order for the rest of the month. Because I don't want to be rolling the die every, every week. So I'm just going to make a note of the order of how we're going to be doing our Battle of the Boxes Savings Challenge. So, number one. Number one, number two, number three, number four, five, and number six. So number one is going to be the star sign. Star sign box. Number two is going to be our coffee box number three is going to be the chocolate box that's so cool number four is going to be the birthday box excuse my writing guys number five is going to be a uh, magic i'm just gonna call it magic box 
And last but not least, uh, six, where the candy box should be because this one is such a difficult one, candy box. Okay, so that is the order that we are gonna cash stuff every um, single week. So let's put our die away for the minute. I'm just gonna quickly get this all put away and then we're gonna get started with our cash stuffing. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so it is time for us to get started with our different uh, 30 envelope uh, box saving challenge. We're gonna get started with the star sign box. Again, this is from Pyrenele uh, and I will have her linked down below. And um, definitely go and make sure you visit all of these YouTubers. And if you're interested in any of their saving challenges, please do go ahead and support them on their various different Etsy stores, okay? Really do have a lot of fun. I think card boxes, card challenges, uh, savings challenge boxes, I think that it's such a fun concept, guys, honestly. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what the cards have in store for us today. Based on what the cards tell us to do is we find that icon, we go to that section and we save the cash. That is it. It is all random. It is completely unpredictable, unexpected. Our first card and our first box challenge for today is Pisces. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to look for the icon Pisces and one of my kids is Pisces as well. Pisces. Oh, here we Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that is interesting. <clears throat> um, Pisces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a marker and I want something really light. I'm gonna keep it neutral. I think I'm gonna go for cream. So our first cash envelope is gonna be from section two and it is going to be Pisces. And we're just going to go ahead. Is that too light? I think that is too light. Um, okay, there we go. All right, Pisces is now done. We are going to put that in face down. Do I want to put that in face down or should I do it face up? Actually, it doesn't matter because if I pick the card again, I have it marked off. So I know that I don't <clears throat> necessarily need it. Now, the other thing is, I think I am, I need to get a breakdown because I, I don't want to use the, I don't want to use the small notes. So I'm just going to quickly get some small notes, maybe some 20s. Um, some tens and some extra fives before I cashed off this. So let me just get this changed and swapped out for some other okay. cash. So I got some cash exchanged because we just did a condensing <clears throat> and I haven't taken that to the bank yet because it is a holiday weekend. So all the banks are closed until Tuesday. So I still have some of the cash that we um, unstuffed. So I just swapped those out, which makes sense. We can just recycle some of the cash that we have here. So we took the 450s and we traded them into 520s, 510s, and 105 fives. okay? So now that we do have some smaller notes, we can go ahead and put the 20 euros into this same challenge. So our first challenge is now done. Now let's move on over to our second one, which is the coffee box. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, now we're moving on to our coffee box saving challenge. And again, this is from Maria over at She's Got It. We are going to do the same exact same thing. We're going to go ahead, shuffle the cards, and see which section we're going to go to today. All right, I've given them a nice, good shuffle. Let's see. Oh, we're going to Brazil again. Oh my goodness. This coffee box must love Brazil. Okay, we're back to Brazil and we have got the bag of coffee beans and that is going to be a total of 10 euros that we're going to save. That is not bad. The coffee box is treating us really nicely today. I had not cleaned off the last time that we played this, so I'm okay with that. I'll just put the cash in again and I'm going to take my marker and we're just going to go ahead and cross off the coffee beans and we're going to add in 10 euros to this savings challenge. 
All right, that's now gonna go in and we're gonna go ahead and stick this in there. Okay, coffee box is now done. Now we're moving on over to the chocolate box. Hello, hello, hello. Battle of the box is still going on strong. We're back to the chocolate box now. Fun fact, back in my younger high school days, my favorite chocolate of all time used to be this one. Now it's crunchy. Like I, I'm obsessed with crunchy at the minute because I just love that nice honeycomb crunch. But Bounty used to be the plug, guys. It used to be the plug. What's your favorite chocolate of all times? And okay, chocolate box is here. It is time for us to go ahead and shuffle these cards and see what the coffee, what the chocolate box has in store for us. Honestly, the coffee box has treated us nicely so far. Zodiac was not too bad, Pisces. And now we're over to the chocolate box. I feel like I feel like candy box is just gonna make, give me make me upset today. All right, guys. So our first card for the chocolate box. Love chocolate. Okay, so according to the sections, love chocolate is actually gonna be the very first section. So here we are, and it's gonna be this delicious chocolate cake with strawberries and blueberries on top with a nice drizzle of melted chocolate. Honestly, absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna put that card to the back, and I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna keep shuffling all of the cards. I'm just gonna to continue to pick the card from the top. So for today, chocolate box treating us very nicely we're gonna go ahead and take off the 10 euros for today it looks like i might be able to play another round of the boxes at this stage but i let me let me see which candy box has in store for us okay our first one is now done now let's move on over to fiona's birthday box hello hello, hello. look how cute these are oh my gosh they're so cute and adorable i know i printed them out so tiny but that's okay you know we love we love variety here all right let's give these cards a good little shuffle let's see what the birthday box has in store for us today it's such a cute challenge honestly thank you to everyone that i reached out to and asked them to do like you know something fun and amazing and they they stepped up and now they're just making saving money so much more fun all right birthday box first card is going to be happy birthday find the icon and save the amount Oh my goodness. And I do believe Fiona mentioned that June was her birthday month. So a happy early birthday to you, Fiona. I hope you have an amazing month this month. Please don't get Google, go ahead and support her by purchasing this saving challenge. It would mean a lot to me and it would mean a lot to all of these YouTubers. And birthday. So let's see if we can find the icon and see how much that is. Okay, this is section one. I don't see it there section oh fiona bad bad girl section two is where it's at guys section two fiona okay i see you starting off with that big big one save 25 25 honestly that's actually amazing she's trying to be like she i believe the birthday box and candy box is, is cousins i believe there's cousins I believe they're going to they gonna force me to save some money. But I'm not mad because your girl is going to save this for a nice birthday treat. All right. Happy birthday. We're getting straight out of the park. We're knocking out one of the big numbers here, which is fine. So 25 euros is going to go into the birthday box today. Okay. 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 I like it. I love it. There we go. And like, again, this is going to be for birthday celebrations. And, you know, if I save a lot of money, I can actually do like a nice little hotel stay. Maybe go to the spa, order a nice big cake, have a wonderful dinner. So I'm looking forward to unstuffing this just before my birthday. All right, again, birthday box is now done. The biggest one we've saved so far. Let's now move on over to magic box. All right, magic box time. I mean, school of magic, but I'm just going to say magic box. I know it's called school of magic. I believe it's called school of magic. Yeah, we are one of the school of magic. Okay, so we have our, our cards here. And again, this is from Gigi over at Southern Charm Savings. And we have our little sections. And so we're going to use the cards to see where are we going to go today. Let's do some magic. Let's see what the magic cards have in store for us today. Behave yourself. Ooh, this is exciting. This is exciting, guys. Honestly. Okay, our first card, guys. First magic. It's going to be 
Yes. Oh, look at the cute kitty kitty. Now, let me see what this cat have in store for me today. This might be a, 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 a rotten kitty. Okay. So, we're looking for... Oh, here we... Oh, one dollar. Guys, honestly honestly all right so what i'm gonna do because it's such a low amount i'm gonna just i don't have one so i'm just gonna put in five okay so cute kitty so we're gonna go ahead and put an x over this one and i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna do one more card actually maybe not because i i'm still gonna do another round Am I going to do another round? I think no. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do one round, keep the video not too long, and give you an idea, give you a taste, give you a flavor of how the challenges work out. And then next week when we do our uh, Battle of the Boxes, we'll probably do like two rounds, and I'll just roll the cash over then, okay? So for today, the lowest and the sweetest challenge that has treated us so nicely today is the School of Magic. Now, it is time for us to go back to the dreadful candy box guys <laughs> the final box for today and i don't know if you noticed there's wine inside here simply because i need to drink after you finish your candy box you need to drink <laughs> so honestly like this game this game really ash it really does give me a bit of anxiety so there's a side effect of anxiety with the candy box okay so we do have some bonus saving challenges in here oh you know what i should have done the bonus saving challenges uh, we'll do that for next time. So I since I didn't do bonus saving challenges for any of the other challenges, we're going to skip those for now. And we're just going to jump straight into the candy box, see what the candy box has in store for us today. And then next week, we'll do the bonus saving challenges for each of the challenges, and then we'll do a round for each of the boxes. Oh, my days, guys. Let's do candy box, candy box, candy box. Okay. Like, honestly, you just don't know with these cards. Like, I'm prepared for anything. You have to be prepared for anything for candy box. All right, guys. Six and final battle of the boxes. Uh, our first cards for June is going to be. Oh, that's so nice of you, candy box. You are just the sweetest thing, aren't you? So no tax. When you get an icon that just has one of these envelopes on it, all you're going to do is you're going to roll a die. The die is going to tell you which one of the sections because each of the sections have one of these um envelopes on it okay so there's no tax thank you the highest amount i'm expected to pay is going to be 30 that's one of the envelopes the lowest amount i'm expected to save is going to be one all right so let's see which section we are going to go to for the candy box section three one two and three okay so right okay i i think candy box is going to be the winner for who's going to force me to save a lot of cash today because this says no tax, I'm, I feel like I want to focus on the car, on the a larger amount. If you've watched any of the previous videos with Candy Box, you know it is best to knock out the large numbers. So for today, for Candy Box, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put in 30. Because your girly, I'm not messing around with Candy Box this month. All right, so let's go ahead and take this card out. And we're going to go ahead and take off envelope number 27 and we're going to be putting in 34 today which is the highest amount that we've had to save today but i expected that i expect that from candy box birthday box i see you birthday box was right there behind it and then star sign we saved 20 and then it just got uh, 10 was for coffee i think and 10 was also for the chocolate box. And the lowest amount that we saved today was 5 euros, which was in the School of Magic box. So we were able to stretch across several of our box savings challenge today. That is it for me today. Um, this was an introductory video to all of the boxes that I am saving cash for. And um, again, I do have the Butterfly House that I'm going to be saving for um, as well. So that is it for Battle of the Boxes, Candy Box wins this round of the most cash save. I'm looking forward to see who else is going to push me. We do have some cash rolling over to next week, which I'm very happy for. Um, I will save that. And thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.